The design and study of computing systems is just one area of computer science. When you think of computing systems, you might picture a computer, a video game system, or a tablet. But there are other types of computing systems. A car radio is an example of a physical computing system that interacts with its environment, in this case, its owner. If you find a station you like, you can assign it to a preset button by holding down the button. This whole time tells the radio's computing system that you want to store your favorite radio station's frequency as the preset you selected. The system responds to your request by beeping or blinking to show that it's stored your radio station. The next time you want to hear that station, you just press the preset button. Designers, artists, programmers, and a variety of other professionals use physical computing systems to create art, safety devices, and other helpful inventions. Wearable technology like light-up hats or fitness trackers are other types of physical computing systems. Connected home appliances like a smart thermostat are part of the Internet of Things, which is a type of physical computing system that relies on an internet connection to communicate between devices. Designing and creating physical computing systems requires hardware, such as sensors and buttons and software, like a computer program. In this unit, you'll explore and learn about both hardware and software to create a physical computing system that solves one of three problems. The first problem option considers outdoor safety, specifically when performing outdoor activities in the dark. If your team chooses this option, you'll design and program a device that creates safer conditions in the dark. The device should be wearable and activated by the wearer or environmental conditions, like the setting sun. Teams that choose the second problem option will improve a community space, such as a library, community center, or a public area of your choice. Your team will design, develop, and program an interactive art display to entertain people. The installation must include lights and sound and possibly movement. The public art display must be accessible to all, engaging, and fun. The third problem option considers people or animals who may need assistance to retrieve something. If your team chooses this option, you'll design and program a mechanical dispenser to deliver a useful object when an environmental action occurs. The device must have lights to indicate that it's been activated and must use a motor to provide motion. Think about these three problem options as you learn about different hardware components and how to create programs that make them come alive in the physical world.